In this video, I'm going to show you a comparison between Bluehost and Hostinger. So if you're looking to sign up on a web hosting platform, this is going to be a great video because I'm going to compare these two. What I'm going to do in this video is simply go over the features, the pricing and give you my personal opinion on which platform is better if you're looking to get web hosting. Before that, please consider leaving a like on the video. That would help me out in the YouTube algorithm and then let's just get started. Now, if we're going to, if we're starting with Bluehost, this is what Bluehost looks like. Now, Bluehost is a web hosting company that's mostly targeted for beginners. So they've marketed this really well as it's one of the most well-known web hosting platforms. Hostinger is not as well known as, as, as far as I'm concerned. However, this is also a really good platform. So which one is better? For that, we need to look at a couple of things. Let's get started with the features on these specific platforms. Now, it really depends on what kind of hosting you're looking for. Now let's just assume that you want to get a WordPress hosting because most websites, I believe over like 35% of the websites on the internet are used, I mean, are hosted through WordPress. So for example, if you're looking to host your website on WordPress websites, this specific Bluehost company is going to be pretty good. Now, if I scroll down, you can see they've got specific plans for WordPress hosting and they're pretty cheap. So the benefit and what I like about Bluehost is that it's not expensive at all. You can see that the basic plans are starting at only two euros and 44 cents per month. And then the most expensive one, so the Choice Plus, is, which is recommended, is only like $5. It's 4 euros and 51 cents, which I assume is going to be $5, which is still not that much money. And for that, you'll get unlimited websites, unlimited SSD storage. You'll pretty much get the best features available. So Bluehost is definitely really cheap. Now, what that includes is automatic WordPress installation, which is uh, great because if you want to build your website using WordPress, you can indeed do that. You've got Microsoft uh, 365. You get a free domain for a year, which is great. Automatic WordPress updates, secure setup. You can get a verified, I mean, you can get verified on Google My Business. So you can connect with customers in your area. So if you have a local business or whatever, this is really cool. If not, then that's probably not gonna do that much for you. If you scroll down even further, you can see they've got beautiful looks, powerful features. So this is pretty basic stuff. Most of the um, website, uh, like most of the web hosting companies, my bad, will have that. Now, if we compare that to Hostinger, once again, if you go to Hosting, you can also click on WordPress Hosting. They do offer a lot of different hosting plans. So you've got shared web hosting, cloud hosting, cPanel, VPS, Minecraft, CyberPanel, and Windows. So depending on which kind of hosting you're looking for, Hostinger does have more options and it's like more advanced. However, like I assume most of you will be looking for WordPress hosting. They do have that as well. You can see they offer 99.99% .99 uptime. Now, if I just click on start now, I'm going to open that in a new tab so that we can take a look at that. You can see once again, this is really cheap. It's even cheaper than Bluehost. Keep that in mind. Now for this, you'll get one website though. So it's not like the best plan available. The best plan is about $12 per month, which still is pretty decent like it's not the, the like the worst price out there it's not the best but it's not bad at all and because of that you'll get 300 websites 200 G, uh, GB SSD storage and then 300k visits monthly that's a lot and then right there or is that a million wait no 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 I was good it's 300k so you pretty much have to choose what kind of plan you're looking for you can go really cheap on Hostinger which is uh, what I like about Hostinger they do have cheap offers if you're just looking to create one simple website. So once again, Bluehost is really targeted for beginners. So if you're a beginner and you're not sure how all of this stuff works, the backend of Bluehost is gonna be really easy to use and it's made for beginners. So it is definitely a benefit if you're just looking to get started. Now it's not that Hostinger is really hard to understand or not easy to work with, but Bluehost is really targeted for that. Hostinger, once again, is really cheap though. If you're gonna go with the single WordPress or even the WordPress starter, it's gonna cost you less than three bucks per month, which is really cheap. Now, Hostinger is indeed optimized for WordPress, so they actively contribute to the WordPress code base, so you can be sure that we all know the ins and out of this world class CMS. So if you're looking to, once again, build your website on WordPress, both platforms are optimized for that. And if I scroll down even further, you'll see that there's a dedicated WordPress 
WordPress theme on Hostinger that's available for you. So if you go with a plan, you can get 24 seven availability. Now that pretty much means that you can reach out anytime if you have any issues or any questions and their dedicated WordPress team will help you out. So that's definitely a benefit of using Hostinger. Apart from that, let's show you the features that I also showed you for Bluehost. They do have Lightspeed Enterprise Service, so the fastest web server in the industry. That's what they claim, which is a good thing. And then they also have one-click WordPress install, so they also like it, they make it easy to install WordPress on your hosting account. It just takes one click. You can get 24 seven support, like I said, and SSD storage. So if you compare the two by looking at the features that I've shown you so far in today's video, you can see that these two platforms are pretty similar. The only difference so far is pricing, which uh, like depends on which plan you're gonna go with. So you can go with the $5 a month one, or you can go with like the, let's see, the three dollars a month one or the eight one so that just depends on your budget and what you need you can see all the features and all like everything that comes with that right here in this list so once again i cannot make that choice for you it really depends on what you're trying to do yourself but apart from that you can see that there's a lot of similarities between these two platforms we've looked at the most important features but which one is faster so bluehost versus hostinger Hostinger does have better servers that are faster as well. So the load times on your hosting uh, Hostinger website are gonna be faster than if you use Bluehost. And that's of course a really important thing because if it takes a while to load a website, most people will just click off, they'll leave. And with Hostinger, that won't happen as soon as on Bluehost. So Hostinger is faster. Now with all of that being said, let's get to the conclusion. So Bluehost or Hostinger, which one is gonna be better? Well, it really depends on what you're trying to do. Now, that will always be the case. So let's break that down even further. If you're looking for a cheap plan or the cheapest plan, you can definitely go with Hostinger because as you can see, they've got the plans that are only like two bucks per month or even three bucks that will get you a lot of quality features. Now, you can see that doesn't come with unlimited bandwidth. On this plan it does, but this plan it doesn't. So if you're looking for unlimited bandwidth and more like unlimited features, Bluehost is gonna be better for you. Apart from that, if you're looking for the fastest loading times, once again, go with Hostinger. If you're looking for the best support, so if you want 24 seven support and just the best support in general, definitely go with Bluehost. So to sum this up, the better support, that's what you'll get on Bluehost. If you're a beginner and you want a simple to use backhand, Bluehost is also gonna be great. If you're just looking for the fastest loading time and a cheap plan, Hostinger is gonna be better for you. So if you have any questions about these, uh, these two web hosting platforms, leave them in a the comment section down below. I'll reply to them if I see the comment. I get a lot of comments, so I cannot reply to all of them probably, but I'll try. Um, if this video helped you out, please leave a like on the video. That would help me out. Subscribe if you wanna see more, and then I'll see you in the next time.